all right now see this term we use many times in our daily life weight weight of a basket is 2 kg weight of bananas are 3 kg like this 4 kg 5 kg we say this weight many times in our daily life but actually what is weight if you observe if you observe carefully when we say weight of a bag is 2 kg actually we are not saying the weight we are saying the mass of the bag 2 kg kg is the unit of mass not for the weight then what is weight weight is it is gravitational force it is gravitational attraction by the earth so it is the force when it is a force we know the newton second law of force you have to call to ma and just replace a with g g is acceleration due to gravity implies you now force f equal to mg and this is what called weight so weight is a force and weight formula is mg example suppose there is a mass there is a ball whose mass is 2 kg then what is its weight see weight i am using the symbol wt then weight is nothing but m into g so 2 into g g value you can take 9.8 or you can take 10 so it is nothing but 20 newton why have I mentioned newton because weight is nothing but force so force unit weight unit both are same now see another one if i say 1 kg weight equal to dash newtons how do you find simply use the formula weight equal to m into g 1 kg weight 1 kg so mass is 1 kg g is 10 so it's nothing but 10 newtons so 1 kg weight equals to 10 newton so if i say that my bag's weight is 3 kg that means it is 3 kg weight then what is its uh, original force 3 kg into 10 that is but nothing but 30 newtons of the weight of the bag acting downwards towards the earth okay next example you might there is a block which is at point a and it started its journey with initial velocity 0 0.1 meters per second square and it gains final velocity v equal to 0 0.5 meters per second square in time 3 seconds if mass of the block equals to 2000 grams then find force acting on it right so we know the formula f equals to m into a we know the mass 2000 kg remember this is not a si value 2000 kg 2000 grams should be converted into si unit kg so 2000 grams is nothing but 2 kilo g means 2 kg okay we got mass what about acceleration acceleration is not given but you have u v t recall the acceleration formula a equals to v minus u by t so f equal m is the first equation now see the second equation a equal to v minus u by t so v is 0 0.5 u is 0 0.1 by time is 3 seconds so it is 0 0.4 by 3 so it's nothing but 0 0.1 3 seconds therefore f equal to mass is 2 kg into 0 0.13 it is nothing but 0 0.26 newton approximately approx see the next example numerical if this car moving on the road with the force f equals to 20 newtons and there is a force acting in opposite direction between wheels of the car and the road 
and this force is opposite that force and this force is okay 2 Newton and this force is called frictional force or friction. So frictional force always acting opposite to applied force and frictional force is a contact force. It only exists when two bodies are in contact. Here wheels of the car and road are in contact and so friction is developed. Okay. Now my question is if the mass of the car m equals to say 2000 kg mass of the car is 2000 kg then then find resultant acceleration resultant acceleration due to f and small f why I said resultant acceleration? I can say directly acceleration. Resultant acceleration because this car is not experiencing 20 Newton. It is experiencing two forces, F and small f. Therefore, it experiences resultant of F and small f. So the resultant force, resultant force is nothing but capital F minus small f. Why have subtracted? Because this force is opposite to that force. So resultant force is 20 Newton minus 2 Newton which is 18 Newton. Now this with this resultant force the car is moving the forward direction. Therefore acceleration A equal to F resultant by mass. So F resultant is 18 and mass is 2000 kg. So therefore 2 nines are 9 by 1000 0.009 meters per second square so that is the acceleration of the car so whenever the two forces are acting at a body always you have to be considered the resultant force